Okay, hi. Assalamualaikum. So, in this video, I will show you how to determine the inverse of Laplace transform. Okay, so basically, uh, they have two types of question of inverse that will be asked. Okay, for the first type, it's a simple one, which means the FT is uh, just a simple and a straightforward function. While for the second type is um, your ft is in the term of fs multiply gs, which means it's a multiplication between two function. Okay, so they have two types. So the simple one and the simple one and also the multiplication one or the complex one lah. Okay, so. Uh, for the complex one or the second type, you need to solve by using convolution theorem. Okay, later on I will show you how to solve by using convolution theorem. So, uh, we will start first with the first type, which is the simple one. Okay, right. So, this video, uh, we will learn topic about inverse of Laplace transform. Okay, inverse of the Laplace transform. Alright. Okay. So, here is the example 1. Okay, at the example here to find or to determine the inverse Laplace transform for the following equation or following function okay right for example one you have a function of um, 1 over s square plus 16 okay for example you have equation of 1 over s square plus 16 okay um okay actually what's mean by inverse here is okay by referring to this table, okay, you can see that this is your ft and this is your fs, right? Okay, so before this, we we'll, we we'll using table. We we'll look at from this to this, from left to right. That's the normal. But now we will use the same table, but we will see, or we will look at the table from right to left. Okay, for right to left. Okay, alright, so, uh, okay, sorry, fs, alright, so actually this is your fs, not ft, eh? fs, so this is your fs, so you will refer to your table from the right and then get the answer at the left, okay, so basically, okay, okay, let's retry, okay, using your table, okay, using your table, okay, so this one is a constant, Okay, this one is the trigonometry. Oh, sorry, this is the polynomial. This is exponential. This is trigonometry. This is the first shifting. This is the derivative, and this is a unit step function. Okay, from this side, from the uh, fs here, which one that you can, um, what we call that relate to this function? Okay, a over s is no because this is s. Okay, we have s square. Okay, it can be this, but it must be s square plus something. But here is only s power something. Okay, only s power something, right? Okay, and then how about this one? Okay, this one is exponential. It's s minus a. We have s square. So you can see that this is either this this one. Okay, it means it's, uh, it will lies between this trigonometry. Okay, so s square plus 16 and for the above one is 1, which is constant, not s. So you can eliminate cos and cos, or uh, hyperbolic cos. Because for cos and hyperbolic cos, supposedly the numerator must be s, but you here as 1. Okay, alright. One more thing that you can also eliminate hyperbolic sign. Because of what? Because of the symbol here is plus hyperbolic is minus so what left 
you left with sin a t. So that's mean this answer is sin a t. What is your a here? So your a you can get it from this number. So which means this one is one over s square plus four square, right? So means that your answer is sin four t. Okay, sin four t. But before that. For sign, okay, here, if here is A, suppose your numerator also should be A, right? So, means that suppose here must be 4. Okay, must be 4, alright? Okay, now your original question is 1 over S square plus 16. But you already make it or you already make it a changes lah. Make it a change, become 4 over S square plus 4 square to get this answer. So, the next step is, you need to, because you already make it the changes, so you already change the meaning for the equation. So, you need to uh, multiply or multiply back with the number to get 1. Okay, so to get from 4 become 1, what we can do? You multiply with 1 over 4. Is it? If you cancel these two numbers for 4, you can get it 1. Right, so if you have a change, you do it changes here, so you need to do it changes here also. So this is the answer. Okay, so this is the answer. Right? Okay. Okay, so uh, let's we proceed with the second example. Okay, second example, one over s cube. Okay, one over s cube. S cube, eh? S cube. It's not S square. So, by using your table, which one that you feel that the answer will be lies on? Okay, it's not trigonometry. Definitely, it's not trigonometry. It's not a constant because it's constant must be S power something. But here is S. So, it cannot be exponential also because this is 1 over S minus A. Your answer is S cube. So, it can be polynomial. Okay, polynomial. So, um... From here means that you can get it 1 over S 2 plus 1 to get 3, right? 2 plus 1. So this means here also must be 2 factorial. So 2 factorial is equal to 2 over 2 factorial is equal to 2. Okay. So the answer will be T power of what is your N here? What is your N? Your N here is 2. Okay. So T power 2. But like I said before, you get or you change the equation from 1 become 2. Okay, you dah tukar daripada 1 kepada 2. How to get back 1? What we need to do? We will multiply with, multiply with 1 over 2. Okay, I write here. Okay, this is just now. So you need to multiply with 1 over 2 to get rid of the 2 and then get back 1. Right? So... You also need to multiply 1 over 2 here. So this is the answer. 